This board has a lot of permissions, and you need to know how to use them to help you guys out with your MoodyBot. Today's tutorial will be focusing on the MoodyBot permissions, on how to use them properly, and get them ready for your Discord server. We'll always be able to give you some tips on the MoodyBot commands to help you out even further with the Moody bot itself. And let's get started. Hi everybody, it's the Retro Yuki once again, giving you guys another MoodyBot tutorial. If this is your first time here on this channel, make sure you guys subscribe for more Discord bot tutorials and a brand new series talking about Discord itself and how to use Discord coming up very soon. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video for even more. So for today, let's take a look at MoodyBot. In particular, we're talking about the permissions and how to set them up properly Make sure you guys have a good MoodyBot experience. Now Discord actually has five levels of permissions, but we're only going to focus on a few of them today. But we're going to be focusing on the other permission types in the full Discord bot tutor Discord tutorial I will have for you guys later. But the MoodyBot actually comes with its own permissions. But we want to make sure it's correct when it comes to our server here. So to get to the permissions of the Moody bot itself, go to your Moody, go to your Discord settings by going to your Discord name here, and go to server settings. Server settings will allow you to do a lot of cool stuff, but let's go to roles, and in particular, let's go to Moody. Okay, there's only one member there, and that's be the bot itself. Okay, so this is the role area. I want to go to permissions. Okay. Moody by default has view channels on, send messages on, embed links on, add reactions on, read has three on, and no voice channel permissions. I would keep it default, like what I have here. Let me go through why you need them on. First of all, view channels is very straightforward. You need to have the Moody bot show you guys all channels, okay? Except for the private channels. We'll talk about those later. The next one you want on is the send messages. That is so that the Moody bot can send messages based on the commands that you use in the server. Embed links is to be on because you cannot get those fancy graphics that the Moody bot comes with without embed links on. So make sure you guys have this on. Add reactions is on. Here's why. Toggle React 2 actually automatically adds them to your to your server. So when you roll for a character, add reactions should be on should be on. Especially have the toggle react 2 on for the rules. So they will automatically add them for you. Toggle React 0 and Toggle React 1 will only be able to use the add reactions from the message message. So keep in mind though, Toggle React 2 needs to be on for the Moody bot and add reactions needs to be on for the Discord permissions. And the next one is read history. Read mes message history needs to be on because the Moody bot needs to see which commands are being used. And when the commands are being used correctly, the Moody bot will read that and then interpret it as the command. And then whatever the command does, the Moody bot does for you. That's why this needs to be on. Every voice one you don't need because there's no voice portion of the Moody bot. But the Rin bot does. So the Rin bot, you need to have, you need to have permissions for the voice. But for Moody, no, you don't. Okay? So that's basic permissions right there for the Moody bot and Moody role. Okay? Now you need to apply those same permissions to a category where you're going to play the Moody game. And for this particular test server, Moody Game Zone. So if you want to learn how to do the permissions, right click the category name, go to Edit Category, go to Permissions. Then you're going to see all this. Actually, you're only going to see 
this one, the at, at everyone. But I'm going to redo the Mude portion so that you guys can go one by one. Okay. For this category, we're going to add a, a role and we're going to add Mude. Now keep in mind, there's two Mude roles. The member and the role itself. You want the member Mude. Okay. Keep in mind the member Mude. Now we want to see which permissions we need on. So view channels needs to be on. Manage channels needs to be off. Or X. Check mark is yes, and then X means no. Slash is default. Manage permissions is off. Manage webhooks is off as well. Create invite off. Send messages on. Embed links on. Attach files on. Add reactions is a yes. External emoji is a slash. The only reason why is Discord Nitro. If you have members who are Discord Nitro, then you can put this on if you want. But to be fair to other members, I will keep this default. Mention that everyone is supposed to be slash. Manage messages is off. Read history is a yes. Text-to-speech is only if you have members who need the text-to-speech fun functionality. However, this is more of an accessibility thing rather than a mood thing. I'll keep it at default. Slash commands. Okay, this one is going to be a slash, no pun intended. Now, here's the catch. With the recent mood update being about the slash commands, I would keep this at default because of that. So the way that works is if you have members who can only roll up to 7 or less per hour, they're required to have the slash commands. But if you have members who are over 7 rows and, and higher per hour, then you don't need the slash commands. But for the sake of the members, I'm going to keep it default. Okay? Any voice channel ones, you can leave default. You don't need them. You actually don't need them. Okay? Because there is no voice on the Mude. So you're good here. Now that's for a category level. You may have noticed that I have Bot Central here. Bot Central is a new category for role. So there's, there's going to be members in this particular category. But mostly the bots. And the reason why I have this is because. Let's say you add more bots to your server. Other than the Mude bot then all roles, that, all permissions that you have here will take effect. For example, I turned off send messages for the bot, for the bot central category, but I turned on for Mude. That means, because I turned it on for Mude, and Mude is part of the bot central category, when you add roles, that means that Mude role will be overridden the rules of the bot central category. Therefore, Mude has an opportunity to send messages to those text, ma text channels in that category. So, so whatever you do with the member, you can override with, the, with this one, not the bot central. So Mude overrides bot central. That's how this works. Okay. Now, to test it out, in the Moody Game Zone, we're going to re we're going to roll. We're actually going to roll like we would as a regular game. I'm going to just put dollar sign W. And as you can see here, I roll. They add the reaction. I believe I put toggle react two for this. Let me just make sure that I did that correctly. And toggle react. Let me just make sure my toggle react is correct. And as you can see, it's toggle react too. So reactions are automatically added under the roles of everyone, but your server has only seven roles per hour before the bonuses. Okay, so if you had toggle react zero, then add reactions need on the permissions needs to still be on because it's not by auto, it's not automatic. You have to do this yourself. It's zero and one. Okay, 
Toggle React 2 is automatically added. As long as you have your permission to set correctly. Okay, now that's it for the basics of the permission game. We'll talk about more about permissions in Discord in its, in its video for my Discord series. I do want to give you some tips and tricks. Just because you have the, the permission set correctly does not mean that the commands cannot be run at any other channel. You can still run them because you don't have any moderation commands yet. This is where we're going to add the moderation commands for Mude. So like you say, in my tutorial for the moderation commands, you can check it out. We do dollar sign channel allow and dollar sign and dollar sign channel deny. These two allow you to choose the commands or categories of commands that will let you decide if you want to put them in for your channel or not. Check out the tutorial for that in the description as well. And make sure you guys check it out. By the way, I do a live tutorial series returning, most likely returning by next week. We've just been a little bit off because of E3 week. But those live tutorials are back next week after Father's Day weekend. So if you guys like those, I'll be happy to give you more. But channel allowed, channel deny. Make sure you use these correctly to your advantage. Let me give you guys an example really quickly. So channel deny allows you to deny a, a category or command itself. So channel deny, and I'm gonna say dollar sign, let me say all pokey slot. And that means I cannot use the Pokemon slot game here. For example, dollar sign P, that means command is disabled. And I go through more without that particular tutorial which can be found in the description below. All right, that's all for today's tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you guys smack that like button and hit that um, subscribe button as well. And don't forget the Discord series, the tutorial series, is starting later today. So make sure you guys check it out because I'm going to teach you a lot more about Discord than here. Okay, we'll see you guys in that one. And as always, here on... Here on the channel, keep on gaming.